Hello guys welcome to AI Sciences and today we are going to implement YOLO version 6. So YOLO has released its version 6. It is not uh, it is not an official release but it is released by someone else and people are claiming that it, its accuracy is a bit better than version 6 but still people say that version 5 is much more customizable um, whereas the accuracy is, is concerned in some cases YOLO version 6 uh, gives you um, a very good accuracy. So here is the, the GitHub link to, uh, to clone uh, the Git, GitHub and you need two things. You need this link that will be provided and you need this wait file that will also be provided in a link in description, right? So you need only these two things and rest of the magic will happen over here in Google Colab. Now those who are uh, not familiar with Google Colab, it's just like Jupyter Notebook, right? So, uh, the only um, difference is this Google Colab works online and you do not need any uh, sort of um, external installation in your in your machine, right? So you can start working right away. So first thing first, we'll we'll first clone that GitHub repository. So we'll say git clone, and here we'll we'll paste this link. So copy and paste, right? Let me run it, and then okay. So it is cloned, and then I'll say cd change my directory to yolo v six right yeah great so let me go over here 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 you, you can see that we have yolo v6 right and then next thing is we need to mount our google our google drive so i'll say google from google collab import drive right and then here we'll say drive dot mount and here we'll pass the link and link says content dash g drive right so this is how if i run it my drive will be mounted and yeah connect to google drive here it will ask for the permission i need this drive and then i want to allow this great so my google drive is being mounted and it is still being mounted we have to wait for a while yeah it is mounted if i refresh it you can see that my google drive is uh, drive is available over here okay so the next thing is i need to install all the requirements so if we go over here there is a file called requirements.txt it contains all the requirements that we need to install so we'll say pip install minus r and here we want to mention that which of, of which is the requirement file so requirements dot txt and then we'll run it great wait for a while and then it is still installing the requirements i mean if you are installing these requirements on your local machine this may give you a lot of dependency issues and stuff like that but on google cloud there will be no issue like this right okay so the next thing is we need to we need now we need two things one the data on which we want to test and we have it over here in testing we have three images to test right uh, this is a traffic data and the next thing is we need a wait file which is yolo v6 s.pt i already have it right it on my google drive right so what i will do is i'll say python tools slash infer yeah infer.py if we go to uh, yolo v6 um here yeah great so we have requirements.txt as well great so we are doing fine over here Okay, so what we'll say, he, here we'll pass the weights minus minus w-e-i-g-h-t weights and here we have to write the path of the weights. So I'll go to my drive and then where is the weight file? Here is the weight file. So I'll say copy path. I'll just paste the path over here. And then the next thing is we have to tell the source of images where are the images images are in testing file so we'll copy the path from here we'll paste it over here and then finally we'll say save minus txt great and believe me that's all that's all we have to do let's run it 
and see if it gives us prediction or an error. Looks like it will give us predictions. Yeah, fusing the model. So we have three images. Great, so we are done. So results are saved in run slash inference slash exp. So if we go to Yolo v6, there is a folder called runs, there is a folder called inference, there is a folder, fault, folder called exp. So if we go to, let's say, first image, um, we open it over here. You can download it as well. Here you can you can see that it has uh, annotated, or you can say mentioned all the objects are which are available over here. Here and you can see that these are the cars that were far away from the uh, f f from the camera, but these are detected quite accurately. And accurate accuracy score is ninety three percent, eighty six percent, and stuff like that. Right. Let's open some other image and see if accuracy score um yeah great so here you can all you can see that uh, it has it has also very accurately and very precisely uh, you know uh, tracked the object or you know uh, uh, annotated the object here, here you can see that a person was riding a bicycle uh, sorry motorcycle so it has annotated a motorcycle with 72 percent conf confidence score and also annotated 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 a person from foot to head with the 84% accuracy score. And later on, you can also download these images and stuff like that. You can also download its uh, annotation file from the labels as well, right? So, if you want, obviously. So yeah, that's that's about YOLO v6. That's how you implement YOLO 6. And if you have any questions, comment below. We'll try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Also, check out the link in description of website of AI Sciences. And we have a lot of uh, data science related courses available on our website for you guys. Thank you very much.